Hey guys and girls, again today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Ryobi uh, inflator deflator model P747 and I want to show, I've already taken it out of the box, I've played with it some, I just want to show you some of the features uh, on this particular item. Um, this uh, inflator comes with a high pressure hose and also a hose for inflating and deflating like uh, air mattresses, um, pool floats, that kind of stuff. You can use the high pressure hose for airing up your car tires, bicycle tires. Okay guys, so this particular model can accept any of the Ryobi 18 volt uh, lithium batteries. Uh, this is this happens to be a 3AH. Uh, you can also use the 4AH and the difference is, is if you use the bigger battery, you have a little bit longer run time. I guess one of the main things that I wanted to show you is the battery inserts through the bottom. If you use the 3AH, I noticed that the inflator sets level. Uh, so some of the features here is on the front of the inflator, you have the mode button. If you push and hold, it powers it on. As you see down here on the bottom, you have a, a, a minus and plus button. If you hit the plus button, this is a really neat feature on here. You can set how, how many pounds of pressure you want to inflate a tire to. So if you have a tire that's down five pounds, you can set it five pounds and hit the start button, which is up here. And I'm going to start it so you're going to hear how loud it is. And when it gets to that five pound limit that you set, it will automatically cut itself off. So that's a really neat feature. As you can see, it has onboard storage. This is the high pressure hose. It comes out and you can uh, attach that directly to the car tires or, or bicycle tires and set the pressure and then fire it up. Um, then you can easily store it right back in place, keeps it nice and neat. It comes with, oh, let's see here, let me get it back in place. It also comes with a sports uh, ball needle, so you can air up soccer balls, uh, tennis, um, excuse me, soccer balls and basketballs, volleyballs, that type of stuff. You can also, it also comes with the small tip that you can use for inflating small uh, pool floats and that type of stuff. And then, you know, you can restore it back onto the actual um, inflator. On this end is the inflator deflator hose. It's marked real well. The, it has an arrow pointing up showing you this fitting here. So if you were going to use this to inflate a air mattress or something you would attach it here start the pump and it and use this hose for inflating it if you were done with it you would then go to the section here in the middle it's it's marked deflator and also attach the hose again start it up and it exhausts the uh, air out of here so it'll deflate the actual um, air mattress or plate or uh, pool float or anything like that for you this does have an LED light on it, so you can see it during the day, but you could also use this at night. You know, one of the things, one of the reasons I got this is, of course, obviously, summertime, uh, you, you have pool floats, you have kids' volleyballs, basketballs, those type of things that you need to air up and, and add air to periodically. This is mobile, you, so you could take this uh, to the sports fields with you if you needed to. One of the things that I really like about it and, and kind of one of the reasons I bought it is because in the winter months, you have uh, your tires are usually get down four or five pounds. I do have a regular air compressor and I can attach the hose and, and air up car tires that way. But this is, would be so much quicker. It's portable. You can carry it, set it right next to the tire, attach it, set the, the pressure on it and let her rip and then it'll you know air up your tire right to the exact uh, psi that you have it set to um, you could also carry this in your trunk as part of your uh, roadside emergency kit as long as you kept a, a charged battery there uh, so so that's a real plus you know some of the features here like i said it does have the auto fill shut off so once you set it you know it's kind of like set it and forget it 
Uh, one of the main things that I want you that I read in the manual when I was reviewing the manual is this inflator can only run for 10 minutes. So you have to run it for 10 minutes, then uh, you want to uh, let it sit for 10 minutes. You know, most of the time, the things that you're going to air up, it's not going to even need 10 minutes to air up. It does use, like I said, Ryobi's uh, 18 plus one um, battery system. So I happen to have uh, plenty of those uh, because I have other Ryobi tools. So this tool itself actually is just the tool. It does not come with a battery or charger. Again, I wanted to let you know that this is covered by Ryobi's three-year warranty, and, and I always suggest that any uh, Ryobi tools that you may buy or purchase for yourself, once you do it, go to their website. It's really easy to register. That way it's in their system, so if there ever is an issue, uh, it's, it's easy to take care of, and Ryobi stands behind their stuff. Other features that are come with this inflator is that this does, on the high-pressure hose, have a brass fitting so it's very well made it's not cheap plastic there so that's not going to break down on you and and that's really good that means you'll get a good seal when you're attaching it to car tires for for airing up if uh the manufacturer states that with this inflator it will air up a car tire in four minutes if it was flat and that's with that's that's using a 4ah battery so you know, if I was going on a road trip and I had the 4AH battery, that'd be the one I took with me. Um, it gives you, you know, several hours of use, which, you know, most of the time these are only needed for, for short periods of time. But, I mean, you could take it to the beach, you could put it in your boat if you went fishing and, and you know, taking the kids skiing and, and airing up their floats and stuff. The, it, it is super versatile and really portable. Um, again, you know, you have your four buttons here so if you power hit the, the mode button it powers it off powers it on you have a start stop button these are all got a digital readout that's backlit so that it does a really good job and like i said if you're having to use it at night on the side of the road you could see what the air pressure is and it'd be easy to read but what i'm going to do here uh the next thing i want to do is i want to air up a a uh, pull float and show you how to connect it to a car tire just to give you some examples of what how how easy it is to use the kids can use this uh, your wife can use this your girlfriend you can use it so you know it's really made for everyone in the family um, I highly recommend it I wanted to get one so that the kids could uh, instead of coming and getting me every time they need a little air in the in their bicycle tires they could go out attach this power it on and I mean I showed them how to use it within a minute or two uh, they had it down and so they're airing up all of their bicycle tires and their friends bicycle tires so now I have all the kids in the neighborhood coming by saying hey can you put a little air in the in the bicycle tire which I'm glad to do so I wanted to show you how quick it will blow up a pool float here so one of the things that I have uh, learned here is when you power this on with the mode button and let's see if you can see, you push the mode button until the arrow points to the picture of the float. So that way it blows air out the bigger hose and not out the high pressure hose. So let's get that plugged in here and we will fire this baby up. Again, I'm using the 3 AH battery on this, so let's just see how long, you know, I, I'm guessing that it should blow up a, this is a decent sized pool float for, in a, you know, a couple, within a couple of minutes more than likely.
say about a minute or so it's blown that up. I'm going to stop it. Plug it. And there you go, you have a pull foot. Blew this up probably within about a minute. Uh, so you can see how, that, how well that worked. So now let's do this. Let's see, let's test out the deflate. Okay, so you can see as it didn't take very long to air this up. I showed you that. Let's test out the uh, deflator part of it. So you twist, take this off the top and slide it into the one that's here on the side. Let's put it in here, put the adapter in, and we will start this again. To me, this is one of the key features that you really need for pool floats is, you know, everybody goes, they swim at the end of the day, they're tired, you end up with a garage full of inflated pool floats and no place to store them. This is a real quick way you can take this to the pool with you or to the lake. And when you got through with the floats, hook this thing up, and as you can see, it will deflate these all the way down so that they're easy to fold, uh, back up, and store for uh, the next time you need to use them. So as you can see, the pool floats flat. You can fold it back up. Easy, quick storage. Took about a minute, maybe a little more than a minute to deflate the, the uh, pool float. Um, again, this is the Ryobi P747 inflator deflator. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I think anyone and everyone who has kids and pool floats and sports balls, uh, this could really, uh, uh, you know, benefit them. Um, I'm glad I got one. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget, make sure you share this with your friends. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe.